HS hires a new athletic director. To check in on our Chinese visitors. And freshmen starts learning about Freedom Riders. All the day on On The Air. On the air with Terriers Carpenter and Serena Scales. Earlier this week, freshman English classes started learning about the Freedom Riders. Adrian Burns tells us how this year a special speaker and some current events helped increase their understanding. We all remember reading Freedom Riders as freshmen. This year, the freshmen did just that, but they also got to tie it in with Ferguson. Dr. Whitehead is here to talk to us today about the history of race and policing and how this connects to our curriculum where we're learning about Freedom Riders and also how it connects to our life today with everything that's going on in Ferguson. So what she has to say to the freshmen is really important because it's an issue that we don't get to talk very much about in school, but it's very prevalent and it's a really important issue. So we're really happy that she could be here to talk to us today. Specifically, they're reading Freedom Riders, so we're talking about kind of the racial tensions that happen in the aftermath of police shootings of young African American men. It's very same thing. Shot by the police officer under questionable circumstances. He actually started protests in Cincinnati, which is fairly close to us. I'm Adrian Burns with On the Air. Now back to you in the studio. Our visiting Chinese students have been here for a couple of weeks now, and they will soon be heading home. More with Nate Trawick as he tells us more. This week I call with Miss Whoopi on the inside of the Chinese students. We want to welcome all of our Chinese students who are visiting uh, Richmond and Richmond High School. We're excited that we have the opportunity at Richmond High School to learn about different cultures and that is part of the diversity of Richmond High School. Uh, that is part of what makes Richmond High School so great, is our diverse population. And what the Chinese students do, they bring another aspect of culture to our school. And so uh, I get to meet with them uh, in the mornings uh, before they come. Uh, also, we pair them up with students so they can experience uh, not only uh, American education, uh, but eating in the cafeteria and eating American food. And so it is just, it, it is exciting uh, to have uh, different visitors at Richmond High School. The foreign exchange program was set up uh, through a collaboration uh, with the school in China. It's Hangzhou. And we did a formal uh, uh, last year when all the visitors were here, uh, we did a formal uh, agreement uh, that we were going to be sister schools. So in the future, we may have uh, not only teachers going over to China, but we also may have students going over to China. So uh, that is an opportunity I think that would be great uh, for some of our students too. So uh, that happened last year and we're very uh, glad to have our Chinese sister school. Yes, yes, it will be a yearly thing. If you remember last year, uh, we had a group of approximately, I think, 25 students. This year, there are about 19 students. And some of the students decide to come to Richmond High School. Back to you guys in the studio. Remember, this is a three-day weekend as we celebrate Labor Day on Monday. Let's see what the weather will be like for the holiday. Hello RHS, and it looks like today it will be partly cloudy with a high of 86 and a low of 68. I'm Derek, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks Derek, now it's time to check some announcements, and there is a lot of information for seniors. That's right guys, there's a lot of opportunities for seniors in today's announcements. First information is now available, the Wells Scholarship to IU Bloomington. This is a full ride scholarship that pays tuition fees and living expenses for all four years. If you're interested in finding out more and getting an application, see Ms. Porter. The Ball State trip on Friday, September 19th is full, but there is a waiting list. If students don't get their permission slips turned in, students will be taken from the waiting list on a first come first serve basis. Remember, you must be a senior graduating with a core 40 or better diploma. See Ms. Hellrung as soon as possible to sign up. 
There's more space for the trip to IUPUI on Wednesday, September 10th, but that's filling out quickly too. There are only a few seats left, so don't wait. See Ms. Weir to sign up. Remember, the same eligibility rules apply as the Ball State trip. Seniors and juniors went wanting to take the SATs. There is a test prep seminar on September 21st, presented by ZAPS. The cost is $79.99, but that includes a five and a half hour seminar, 24 practice tests, and more. Go to zaps.com to register or talk to your counselor for more info. It's time to get involved with student council. There is a call out meeting next Wednesday after school in the conference room across from the cafeteria. Be there and help make a difference at RHS. If you like the outdoors, then make sure to stop by Ms. Schrand's room, R135, and f find out more about the New Outing Club. Don't forget, school pictures are next week. Pictures will be taken on Wednesday, September 3rd. Like always, pictures will be taken to your, during your in English class. And if you've been interested in joining HOSA, the Healthcare Occupations Students of America, then you'll have your chance to find out more and have a good time. The RHS chapter will have a cookout this Sunday in Glen Miller Park at shelter, shelter number three. Everyone should bring a dish. Please sign up at Ms. Hittrich's room if you're planning on attending this. This is open to current members and anyone interested in joining. That's a look at your announcements. Back to you guys. On Wednesday night, RHS hired a new AD, and it's a busy weekend as almost every sport is on the road. Let's get a closer look with Brady and Whitey. That's right, almost everyone is on the road, but Peyton tells us more about a big game tonight. Hi, my name is Peyton Claiborne, and we talked to a few football players to see about their home opener tonight. Tonight we play New Palestine, and I think it is a good opportunity for our team to show who we really are. I think everybody had a good week of practice, and everybody's really excited, and we just have to go, c come out and be fearless and attack every play like it's our last. And being a senior, I'm going to go all out, and hopefully we can come out with a victory over a very good team. We're feeling good. We're ready. We're ready to hit somebody. Uh, following up the good week that I had, during Connorsville, I do what I do best, uh, follow my line blocks, hit my holes, that's what I do. Back to Braden with more sports. And this will be the first football game under the, our new RHS athletic director. On Wednesday night, the Richmond School Board approved hiring Frank Carr as the new RHS AD. Mr. Carr previously had worked for Earlham College, also serving as its athletic director at one time before retiring a few years ago. Mr. Carr is expected to start here in the building sometime next week. As for the rest of the weekend, everyone is on the road as cross country travels to Rushville, volleyball is at, at Avon, and both of the boys and girls soccer teams head to Huntington North. There is also freshman and JV football on the road Saturday to face New Palestine. Remember the new band and seating tonight at the football game, and we'll see you next Wednesday for another sports report. Wow, so everyone is on the road except for varsity football tonight. Good luck to all the teams this weekend. And let's get everyone tonight to support the Red Devils. Plus, they'll get to see the band perform their state fair showtime at halftime. That's our show. Remember, we'll have the short show when we return Tuesday next week after the holiday. 